Let's ask Duke at a Chevy store. It's okay. It's a good microphone. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like, it picked up uh, Ethan and Will while we were in the gym. Oh, really? So, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I like it to be perfect, especially when it's me. My name is Matt Perus, and I am the Director of Performing Arts at Bradford Christian Academy. My name is Ethan Conway, and I am in 10th grade, 11th grade, 11th, I can count. I'm Hannah Smith, and I'm a senior this year. Uh, William Ellis, and, and I'm a sophomore, 10th grade. Uh, my name is Lydia Safford, and I'm a senior. My name is Rebecca Mully, and I am a sophomore. I am Slimmer Gonzalez, from college next year. <laughs> I play Mantra Sor in the Cask of Amontillado. I am the evil, manipulative, scheming murderer. I'm kind of like a dead person that Montessor had killed many years before, but I'm his former mistress. I play Fortunato. Okay, so um, I play, he's kind of the antagonist of the story. Um, Montresor is trying to get revenge on me for the a thousand wrongs that I have done, and um, I'm pretty much, it's, uh, it's a slaughter. So I'm part of the ensemble, and my character is the wife of Montresor, who he has killed. I am a part of the ensemble, and I also have small, minor roles of the wife of one of Montresor's business partners, and just ensemble, dead, sort of, alive character. <laughs> it's complicated. I do tech for the play, so I have really fun stuff. We do really fun stuff with me, Mr. P, and like, um, the other person who does tech, and so we have our own, like, on little jokes and like have fun just backstage in the tech booth. <laughs> My function in the production was to serve as the director and uh, along with LJ, the choreographer, who was my co-director, and I adapted the story from uh, Edgar Allan Poe's original into uh, a story that incorporated more characters than just the two uh, original characters in his original story. We've been working on the production for say maybe five months now but we've only been really cracking down for the past two. Uh, we put in a lot of work over quite a bit of time so I'm really excited to see how it culminates. We've been working on it on and off since September and we really started I'd say in January. I joined acting class as I've taken the acting classes up until this point. I've taken intro and intermediate acting and this year was advanced. I've worked on competition plays in the past so uh, I was excited to jump into this one. Acting class has just always been something I've been doing since I got to high school and I love acting. It's one of those things I've done since I was really little and want to continue to do throughout my life. Mr. P. Mr. P is like fun, loving, he supports everybody. He really helps us with our acting, even though I'm, I don't act, but... Um, I think that the reason I joined acting class is I think it's important to uh, have social skills and be able to play different parts. And I guess I like being a, a cog in this great machine that is uh, production. Yes, I love it. I think everyone in it, I hope everyone in it loves it, but I definitely love it a lot. Um, I did the competition play last year and I really just kind of like fell in love with the whole experience. Um, like not just going to the competition and like being with everybody but like just the rehearsals and the like time you get to know Mr. Bruce and all your cast members. He like, he encourages me to do like my own thing with the lighting and so if he doesn't like it, he automatically tells me, hey can you change this a little bit, make it more darker, make it more lighter, like all that stuff. 
I love acting. I originally joined when I was in seventh grade because my friend wanted me to do a play with her and then she backed out at the last minute but I absolutely loved it and I've been doing it ever since. I think it's so great. Everyone should do it. <laughs> I have been acting since freshman year of high school. I mean, let's face it, I think we all started acting when we're very young, but formally started acting uh, freshman year of high school. What I want to accomplish in my acting classes is I want to give my students skills that they will take uh, with them throughout the rest of their lives. So not only um, being confident on the stage and the ability to portray different characters and um, understand the physicality and the power of their voice, but the confidence to be able to speak in front of people and present themselves for their job interviews, their college interviews, um, and throughout the rest of their lives. Acting class, it's more than just a class about acting. It's learning to com break communication barriers and be comfortable in your own skin. because it's so fun like we obviously get a ton of work done we have a production when we're finished but in the meantime we have a lot of fun doing it and you learn a lot when, when you're doing it um, I think well like I said it's really important to have the social skills that you get from from working with other people and also it's it's a team sport really like you're all working together to make something that looks amazing and um, you can show other people and be like hey that's really cool huh the class in three words, fun and hard work, that doesn't count as one word, but just like a lot of like acting and having fun, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> you know, don't be afraid to be you, don't be afraid to come out of your shell, be crazy, be nuts. A lot of people, you know, take it as they're presenting themselves in a way to whereas they want to be their best self or they're nervous that who they are isn't good enough. But you know, I just encourage people to be exactly who you are and play it up, just have fun with it. Because you know, at the end of the day, everybody else around you is going to be having fun, so you know, might as well dip your toes into the water. Don't be afraid. Like, that's one thing that keeps me back a lot. I'm so afraid of going out there completely and exposing myself and just going for it, but doing that will make you become so much of a better actor. Have patience, I guess. It's, I know that practices can be long and drawn out and dreary and it's a hassle getting set together and then some, there's that guy that you don't want to work with but you have to work with. I, not that I'm naming anyone in the cast. I would say just appreciate those around you and don't just get so caught up in like, oh, I'm going to get this role. And though competition's a good thing and like you should be... Um, self-confident I think just remember that like it's really about at the end of the day it's really about the community that you build with theater try new things to really try new things I know that's one thing that I struggle with I'm like oh, I don't want to look weird I don't want to <laughs> but do it because you won't regret it and no one will remember it if you did so it doesn't really matter <laughs> So last year when we did Radium Girls, the main characters reminded me when we did two years for the competition play, we did screw tapes, screw tape, and then last year we did Radium Girls. Last year I did a realization of that Radium Girls would be the prequel to Screw Tape because sc Screw Tape takes place in hell and all that. And then um, Radium Girls is like living, and then like the main character Grace dies. So that same person who played Grace played Wormwood in Screw Tape Letters. <laughs> So I was like, Mr. P, look, it's the prequel to Screw Tape Letters. He's like, oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> what do you think is in Mr. Bruce's coffee or tea? Oh boy. Um, I would say it's tea. Or, I don't know, um, coffee. What, what do you mean, what's in the drink? I'd have to say... Well, it depends what day it is. I know that he sometimes drinks it black, 
and which is disgusting. Well, I think it's Dunkin' Donuts coffee and either three cream, three sugar. Typically hazelnut, sometimes pumpkin spice in the fall, a lot of cream sugar. It's okay, it's coffee. I know it's coffee. I don't know why I said tea. I sometimes it was a little like raspberry swirl or hazelnut swirl into it. I had hazelnut one time, spilled it all over the floor. I mean, all right, here we go. Pre-workout amino energy. I think three cream, three sugar. And ice, of course. With milk and no sugar. That's what I'm gonna guess. Yeah. My Dunkin' Donuts cup, which I have right here, is, well, they don't mark it um, because they know, because I go to the same one every morning, is French vanilla, skim milk, and three Splenda, because regular milk at Dunkin' Donuts gives me makes, gives me an upset stomach. And um, Splenda because I love the taste of chemicals in the morning.